up on the wash or down? I don't know. It might not open. Still has the battery, even. I was surprised to see the engine still in there, but it has the battery still in there. Look at that cable. You get in and crank it up. Let's see if it'll... Right. You got any... Uh... <laughs> okay, hold on a second. I'm going to start over. Hello, I'm back at my new favorite ghost town, but this time I'm going to do a more in-depth look at a couple things. Maybe give a shout out to some people that helped me identify some of them. This is the Pontiac. We popped the hood on it and it's it's in really good shape actually. It has the battery, it has the, the engine. Um, it's even got a headlight. Pontiac's a uh, sun chief, a star chief. You see the mileage on it? I can't. I'm leaning way in. All right. Pat uh, Rudderman, I hope I said your name right, uh, said this is either D D8 or D9. So let's look around, see if we can't find a badge or something, maybe the serial number. And uh, I'm assuming it used to also pull this trailer, which has the hitch, which lines up to the hitch on the... And it used to haul this around at one point in time, for whatever reason. See any name plates on it yet? in the sucker. Still hot seat. All the... Uh, I don't know where the... Oh, those are pretty hard. Somebody said it would probably still start, which it probably would, but... <laughs> Not by me. Alright, I'll get down to see if I can't find the serial number. Fuel is enough. All right, I found the controls to start the sucker. Looks like there's a little... Do you have to start an engine just to start the engine? Huh. This one's got a spark plug. So it's not diesel, is it? These are fuel injectors. There's the fuel. There's the, and the carburetor. Looks like a two-cylinder engine. Got a clutch and a pinion, electric starter, which the fuel controller, the on off over here. Huh. I don't know. It has a you have to start an engine before you can start the big one. That's interesting. I'm gonna have to research that more.
is Caterpillar behind the um, turnbuckle or whatever they call those. The block or here's the fuel injectors and stuff for the diesel side. Yeah, if there was any identification on this, it's gone. There's another Caterpillar identification number, or name and identification number, I mean. Looks like somebody took all the identification numbers off, but I'm going to go with a D8 plate based on what I'm seeing here. Cool. Okay, I was behind this, uh, behind the bulldozer. Last time I missed this. But there's an old, uh, there's a block for a flathead, a flathead V8 sitting here. Hey, look, there's the heads. Oh, the transmission. Got a shifter on it maybe. Transmission's right there. The whole car is probably here actually. I see leaf springs and... Uh, a rear end, it looks like they tried to make into something else. Alright, I'll pick back up if there's anything else interesting, but I thought that was pretty cool. Will it run? I don't know how I missed this last time either, but look at this uh, gas pump. How cool is that? Look at the size of that I beam. inside one of the houses now and to get a closer look in here I see Texaco motor oil cement I don't know what's in this box and this is all packed full of newspapers I don't know what that's all about kind of weird That's cool, huh? Yeah. Last time I was in here, I said these had fallen off the ceiling, and I was wrong about that. These are slats to the side of the trailer or bed. You can see the evidence of it here. Here's a closer look at this. Uh, stove or the heater or whatever it was. It's got most of his glass left in it. A nice uh, wood finish to it. I still don't know what's in this mystery box. I don't want to dig through this uh, get hantavirus or something. Lyme disease or Some other kind of goodies. Okay, Austin's saying uh, fire starter. They're keeping it stashed here to start fires with, which sounds like a good 
There it's me. Okay, last time I was in here, the camera would kept going blurry, I noticed. So I wanted to look at a few more things in here, starting with this uh, barrel. I didn't even notice last time I was here. Looks like it's full of, uh... oh, I don't know what it is. Anyway, my camera kept going blurry. And I didn't really take much time to explore in here, so I don't know if I missed anything. So I'm going to take a little bit of a closer look in here. Spikes. This probably scared somebody pretty bad. Down here we have some kind of valve and a big old electric motor. Right. Oh look, there's still a key in this door. That's kind of cool. I'll leave it there, but it looks like it doesn't come out anyways. But oh. you should see in the mill, there's more. Oh, there's a date on this one, 1985. No, maybe that's not what the date is. That's 19, uh, that's 198.5. That's 195.5. Never mind. Here's, I found, I saw the head for this out laying in the back. This is a, a flathead V6 or a flathead six cylinder. <clears throat> yeah. Oops, I disturbed the mouse nest. Some people are into collecting these. They're pretty cool, but this one's broken. And there's uh, more. There's a couple more over here. That one's broken. Those ones are broken. That one's broken. Ah, even that one's broken. And this is in good shape. The broiler. I mean, they kind of packed this away like they were going to be gone. They even covered the table with newspapers and plastic and oh, there's some pretty flower decorations and even a tablecloth on it. I like 
how their floor was so out of level. They had some heavy duty shimming there. No stub toes on that, right? That looks safe. 